So what are our first impressions of the 72 volt Super 73 Z Force One? <laughs> what? We're at 33. Don't tell my mom. That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. So today we're gonna do our first impressions of the 72 volt Super 73 Z Force One. I got my buddy Chris out here. He's gonna test ride it. We'll get his thoughts, so let's get to it. So we're just gonna do a few more performance upgrades to the 72 volt Super 73 Z1. It's a Grin Technology Stator Aid. It's basically like a coolant for your motor. You inject this into your hub motor to bring the temperatures lower. I haven't had any real temperature issues, but I do wanna try this out. The Grin Tech XOFO DD45 has a port to inject the Stator Aid. You don't actually have to drill a hole inside of the motor. You can actually access it through the rotor threads. Next we have heat sinks. Because the phase runner is installed inside of the enclosure, it's not getting as much cooling as I'd like. I wanna try putting these heat sinks on first to improve the phase current. And then this is just adhesive thermal tape. And we'll use this to bond the heat sinks to the phase runner. Rick, the last time I rode this bike, it looked nothing like this. This is insane. It's completely unrecognizable to me. I mean, we have this awesome, very futuristic looking, three-tiered Grom light, uh, totally different fender. Looks much more to my eye like some kind of dual sport. The tires are very aggressive. They look very off-road. This enclosure in the center from like, even from this distance, it looks actually like it's made out of like brushed aluminum. Uh, I know from what you shared with me earlier that this is like uh, actual vinyl, but it looks incredible, it looks so good. It fits within the frame so naturally too. I would imagine you would need better braking power because this is a totally different motor and different back wheel. Can we talk about this seat for a second? Like the stitching is so clean, it fits the shape of this bike super duper well. It's so cool, it's very, very classy. I mean, the last stage this bike was at, the last time I rode it, you had added the phase runner, it had a bigger battery, uh, it felt like an absolute beast. It had a very DIY look to it, it was very, very cool. This looks like something you bought. Like, this looks very, very clean and finished. Um, I love what you did with this USB port. This looks like our little tank where we're gonna fill up our device with some juice. I cannot believe this is the same bike. It has evolved so much. Is this its final form? We'll have to find out. I'm very excited to ride it. Over here we have the Onyx RCR. Comparing the two, they both have different overall aesthetics, but they share the same kind of sleek polish to my eye. It's like a little brother, you know? This looks to my eye like something that, while perhaps maybe not quite able to achieve the same top speed, is absolutely going to have some very, very aggressive performance. I rode it when he upgraded the battery to 48 volts. 
I was lucky enough to ride it again when he upgraded it to 52 volts. And there was a very noticeable difference in performance between those two batteries. Uh, the Phase Runner and Rick's custom settings certainly help, uh, but this, despite being the same frame I've ridden on at multiple stages in its existence, is unrecognizable to me. I can't wait to be surprised with how this thing performs. Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> what? What is this? This is not the same bike. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, yeah. Wow. So it has like, it, it's interesting. You know, I, I was just riding the Onyx. The Onyx has this really, really aggressive acceleration. This one is so smooth. It just like eases into it and it just blasts off. Oh my God, that is such a rush. That smoothness is all the Phase Runner programming settings. Like I'm slamming the throttle all the way down and it's like easing into it. Oh man, once it really gets going. The suspension is good. Got some bumpy spots in this parking lot over here, but I'm not getting jostled around too bad. The seat's very comfortable. It's really interesting riding something with this much power that is so light. Like it's so easy to just, you know, I'm not the world's most experienced counter steerer, but just like leaning into these turns feels so natural. Acceleration of that curve. Stop sign. Brakes feel excellent. The sign says 15. We're at 33. Don't tell my mom. Awesome, dude. I am so impressed with all the work you put into this. Like, it's really paid off. It has such a pleasant kind of ease into this speed and power that is so fun and thrilling. It's very different from the RCR. The RCR, you hit the throttle and you go. With the way you have calibrated the phase runner, you hit the throttle and it's like you're at the apex of a roller coaster and you're ready to tip over and take that dive and then it just blasts you off. It feels so natural, it's super fun. Uh, the brakes, the regen braking, you know, I felt perfectly in control. You know, I was coming up on some of the turns and stop signs in this parking lot at some high speeds. And as I adjusted my speed, there was no doubt in my mind that I was in perfect control and, and able to slow to a complete stop. This feels to me like a bike that could be sold for quite a bit of money. It's incredible. And I already liked Super 73 before when I rode the stock Z1, when I rode the modded Z1 in its different iterations, but uh, I mean, I feel like anybody who's familiar with Super 73 would see this and be like, what is that? And you'd say, it's a Super 73 frame. They'd be like, you're kidding. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's very, very cool. So that was our first impressions of the Super 73 z Force one with our buddy Chris. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to make this build even better, leave them in the comments below. If you want to dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.